Well, hello everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the Xbox One S. Welcome to PUBG. Welcome to the Erangel visual update. That took a while to load, didn't it? Um, so let's head over here. I couldn't very well do some PUBG updates without including the Xbox, could I? The console on which I've spent thousands upon thousands of hours playing playing PUBG. So. The idea behind this stream is just to check out what, um, what the update looks like on the Xbox One S. This is a it's just a standard Xbox One S. Um, no bells and whistles, no solid state drives, nothing like that. Just purely, purely the console. Um, just checking YouTube just to see if we are. Why aren't we? showing up as streaming sometimes it can be very frustrating so I apologise if you're watching this it's because I'm streaming to Twitch and not YouTube so there's no point checking YouTube was there <laughs> how is everybody anyway so here we go been playing a lot of Daisy recently um, played a lot of PUBG yesterday which is really cool because of the update hopefully this guy down here won't grab a gun and come and shoot me I'm going to have to move it. You know when you look at the screen, you look in the bottom right corner, you can see the mini-map, or... Oh, this isn't good. <laughs> Somebody in the house below me. Somebody there. Maybe we should consider going to South Georgie rather than North Georgie. Just get used to the controls again. Oh, we need a vehicle. That vehicle, we're not going anywhere. Yeah, so when you look in the bottom right corner, and you see... Oh, I keep pressing the button. Which one is it? It's that one. Yeah, there we go. And you can see the big map. My little um, data bar that shows me whether I'm streaming or not, and how many people are watching. Is I've put it down there, because when I was playing... What was I playing yesterday on the Xbox? I was playing something. Oh, Vigor, that was it. When I was playing Vigor a couple of days ago. Auto drive now, on the vehicles. Just have to steer, turn the radio on. Um, yeah, so I need to move it back in a minute. Otherwise, I won't be able to tell what's going on. Ah, the old PUBG sound. Turn the engine off when we're driving. Turn it back on it. Double click on the right trigger to get the auto throttle. Right, I think we'll do the back six. Looks amazing, doesn't it? Really does look amazing now, Angle. It's up there with Vikendi as uh, a great looking map. Radio still playing? Nice. Now I'm going to be pretty slow with the Xbox controls. Cause I'm really used to playing PUBG on the PlayStation now. But I'll do my best to stay alive for as long as possible um, and show you guys the differences in the map. And just give you my kind of thoughts about this on the this update on the on the Xbox. Loved it on the PlayStation. Still a couple of issues. I felt sometimes there was like a the sticky um, throttle on the cars. Now that might have been something to do with the auto throttle. Um, and occasionally there was almost like a lag on footsteps. So I'd be running along and then I would stop and I would hear footsteps. Um, also, draw distance was seemed to be a little bit odd sometimes when I was scoped in, and um, specifically here actually, in uh, South George. Oh, it's all coming back to me now. I think. <laughs> I 
Just <laughs> radio still playing in that car outside. Oh, PUBG is good though. And I was l the problem. Okay, so I should take a step backwards and say, you know, this is on the PTS at the moment. It's coming to the main game next week. Um, and the problem is, you can only really play it on uh, American servers when when you go in on on PlayStation and on Xbox. It just takes you into American servers. But on the PlayStation, I could only play squads. Now, I was lucky enough after playing several games last night. Got here. This is looking better. Uh, to get a chicken dinner in a squad, so that was cool. Let's give the extended mag to the mutants. Pick up the seven six. Okay, so cooking and gas now. Very low on five five six though. Another mutant. Plenty of seven. So I'm just going to go into the settings and just change. Change where? Brilliant. That's better. You obviously can't see that, but for me, the bottom left-hand corner of the screen doesn't really do that much in. PUBG. Okay, I'm going to keep picking 9mm up in case I come across a vector. There's lots of Uzis around, and of course you can use... You can use the Uzi um, with a red dot now. Though it does tend to be a bit brrr, and then it's all over. <laughs> yes. Alright, four times, yes please. Uh, the chicken dinner I got last night was with a uh, mutant, I see. Never used to use the mutant. I'm definitely a convert now. Very good weapon. Very, very good. Uh, as a distance weapon, there's like a DMR. Right, so it all seems to be running incredibly smoothly. Okay, so we're going to have to go in a minute. Ooh, what have we got here? And then looks. Ooh, right, ooh, ah, ooh. What happened there? Let's go back to the scar. Let's get rid of this nine mil. I think it's more than enough uh, ammunition to get me through any game. So that's good. So we're sorted for guns now. Sorted for sights. How are we doing for meds? Some more meds would be good. What have I got? Alright, oh, yeah, we want to get rid of that six times. Fifty people left, so we're into the top half of the. Take a little bit more five. Here comes the blue. There's our extended quick draw for the scar. Trough and energy drink. Good afternoon, Downward. Good to have you along, my friend. Just uh, testing out the new PUBG visual update on the uh, the Xbox. Played it a lot on PlayStation yesterday. Had a great time. Got quite a long way to go. I'll tell you what, let's be cheeky. Let's be cheeky and do one more house. Although I shouldn't really, because I've got such a long drive. Um, could only play squads, unfortunately, on PlayStation. So I've come over to Xbox for a little bit of uh, solos fun. So extended quick draw in it is probably better than oh, another Molotov. Can't say no to a nice Molly. That's KS there, but we're gonna stick with the mutant I think for this game. As I say got a chicken dinner with the mutant last night, a nice squad game. I think I got, I got the only kills in our squad. 
Oh, my, it was flashing red to show that my bag was full then. How cool is that? Or is it tempting me with the SKS? It is, isn't it? It's saying, Rob, take the SKS. Put that cheek pad on it. And then we're... Uh, we're good to go. Right, let's, uh, let's go for a drive. Love all this extra detail on the map. Really brings it to life, doesn't it? Erin Gordon has this lived-in feeling. Very similar to the Kendi. Uh, and the performance seems okay. I'm saying that. <laughs> In fact, I've already played the, been playing for 10 minutes. Let's see how we get on. Right, where are we going to go? I don't know, somewhere over there. If we just follow... Right, I know. Right, okay. Let's take another energy drink. Round we go. Let's get that radio on. Can I go south of the river? No, direct route is... One thing I did notice, Steve, was that the motorbikes ran out of fuel incredibly quickly. I'm talking crazily quickly. I jumped on a three-wheeler by school and it had run out before we a fuel before we got to Milton. I must admit, I don't remember whether when I looked at it whether it had um, a full tank or not. Maybe it was just half a tank. They definitely, now I know there's people on this road, so I do need to be reasonably careful. They would love to come and steal my vehicle. There's a guy here. guy who went to North Georgie as well. Overall, I've got to say, this game is running smoother and smoother with every update. But again, I did really like the Kendi. We've got dynamic weather as well with this update. You don't get the boom of the boost anymore when you're playing, when you're boosting your car. What have I got in terms of... Now, when you take a bandage now, just automatically, this is much better. Look, it just keeps on using them. Woohoo! Red zone, red zone, red zone. Let's go. Got killed by the red zone yesterday for the first time in months. Get out of this red zone. I don't remember seeing anything in the patch notes about them increasing the uh, veracity of the red zone. I hope they haven't. It's more of a hindrance than anything in the red zone. I mean, I like that it's there. I don't agree with the people who say take it out completely. Right, we've got to start thinking about where we're going now. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to make a YouTube video about this game. It doesn't help when you're shooting at me. Alright, I'm by shelter, aren't I? I tell you what, I can't see now. My Twitch kind of overlay has covered up how much fuel's in the car. So I've got no idea how much fuel I've got left. I can see how much. Oh, someone's gone down into shelter. Tells me how much uh, hit points I've got left, but so at some point we may well just run out of fuel.
it all looks lovely doesn't it we saw the extra texture on the buildings and what you'll see in a second is prison with its new uh, there's a basketball court now imprisoned which looks cool there are various secrets and easter eggs hidden around the map as well um, you can break into basements in case somewhere I've got no idea where to look them up and go searching for them in a similar vein to the uh, secret uh, caves on the candy or secret cave can't remember what the flight path was it was southwest and northeast wasn't it I think formation on the beach. I don't think that car spawned there, do you? Let's go and see where the... Oh right, okay. Let's see, see where the map goes, but it's just told me, isn't it? Come far up at these buildings. Just want somewhere relatively safe just to get out. Continue my way on foot. Now I know this is a bit campy, but you're gonna have to forgive me. I'm still getting back into. Um oh no, I don't want to replace it. Getting back into PUBG. Do you like the way I park the car there? That's um. Oh, who was that who told me that in the Hot Drop podcast? Oh, I can't believe I've forgotten. So the idea of parking the car like that is it looks like a spawn. Yes. So people won't assume. Right, well we've got four first aids, one bandage, two energy drink, three frag grenades, two Molotov cocktails, three Molotov cocktails, loads of five, five, six, loads of seven, six. And there's various shenanigans going on over there. I can't shoot. Okay. Steal that kill. Who's he firing at? A flare went off over there. Somebody's pulled up over there. That vehicle's going that way. It's all kicking off there. <laughs> what happened there? I'm not quite sure. Did someone start shooting at him? Hmm. There's p people who are much, much better at PUBG playing this game now, so... Just going to stay in my little house, keeping an eye out. Right, 
Where's the next? It's a bit of an open one, this one, isn't it? There's lots of gunfire. Probably... Th See, there's people there, and there's people there. And there's people definitely straight in front of me. How far is it? It's definitely doable, isn't it? I've only got two energy drinks there. Should we go on foot? Go on foot. Let's go on foot. These lovely textures. Oh, I just want them to do a map rotation, which is Erin Girl and the Candy. Oh, I don't like the look of this. There's a guy up there. Oh, this is sh this is terrible. This position. really bad. <laughs> oh, I've just got to try and get over into cover here. I'm running around like headless chicken. Gunfire going off. Oh, I've got to love PUBG. Love DayZ. Love pain. PUBG. We're coming up to the back of mansion, aren't we? I think. Ooh, there's people in mansion. If I get anybody behind me. You lot kill each other while I just mind my own business here. <laughs> uh, rob the camper. Right, okay. Now, that, those rocks over there look good, don't they? So definitely those rocks ahead of me. Got a minute 22 though, let's just hang on. See what happens. Let's not give away our position. So I know there's guys there. Definitely guys in mansion. Someone might he might stay in that building because it's just just in, isn't it? Definitely guys all around the compass, all around here, this area. Got to be careful. Someone could rotate behind me here. Okay, we're in the top 10. Mission accomplished. Top 10 with one kill. That'll do me. That will definitely do me. This is where PUBG gets good. It's funny, sometimes you think, oh, wouldn't, wouldn't it be good just to have a PUBG game where it was the last top 10? But it's that build-up, isn't it? It's the 24 minutes prior to this where you've been... Oh, okay, it's taken it. You've been slowly been building up the tension is ratcheted. Right, that, that rocks in. Sugar it's not in, is it? I'm going to die to a headshot in a second, I know. 
Where's the cover? Where's the cover, Rob? Where's the cover? I'm dead now. I'm just going to die to a headshot. Alright, okay, guy there. Look how great this game looks. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? Look how good that looks. It looks so much better. My only hope here is that everybody else kills each other. They don't notice me lying in this very, very short grass that probably isn't even rendered in for other people. Okay, chaps, this is it. Last energy drink. struggling there to see any cover for me at all. left <sighs> guy up there guy somewhere else Two left. And there we go, people. <laughs> A chicken dinner. There we go. OMG. Fantastic. <laughs> Four kills. First game back on the Xbox One. Well, what can I say? Apart from um, what an absolutely amazing game this is. Um, brilliant. So... What can I say about their in-game visual update on Xbox One? Plays great, feels great. Um, if you're not playing this game, come on, peeps, download it. Let's get stuck in again. It really is so much fun. Solos, squads, duos, 
Oh, my heart is pumping, my hands are sweaty, the adrenaline is coursing through my body. Thank you very much PUBG Corp for supporting this game and developing it for the last few years. Even though it was a budget title, £25 when it's new, you can normally get it for about £12.15 in the sale. Amazing value, thousands of hours in and I still love PUBG and PUBG Corp keep making it better and better and better. Thank you very much, you put your questions and comments down below. What can I say? Hit like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you want to see some more. You can support the channel through Patreon. And uh, that's enough from me. Thank you very much. Good night.